press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss any update from Tech Primers. Composite design patterns are useful when you need a tree structure and you want to traverse across the objects in the hierarchical fashion. In general, composite structure consists of a component which will be at a higher level. It could be an abstract class or an interface, however you want it. The next implementation or the concrete class would be the leaf and there will be a composite class. This composite class will contain the children of the component. The composite class will be an implementation of the component. However, it will also contain the children of the component. Let's see how we can create a composite class with an example. If you are already working in an organization, you probably know how the hierarchy of your reporting structure will be. You are an employee. Your manager is also an employee. Your manager's manager is also an employee. However, the reporting structure could be different. We are going to try and simulate that particular example here. I'm going to create a employee abstract class so what are the different attributes of an employee so he will have a name he will have a employee number what else do we need i am not going to add anything else uh, for example we can add maybe salary I'm going to create a constructor out of this. Now that we have created these particular attributes of an employee, we need to add a particular method to make it abstract, right? Or else the class will not be abstract. I'm going to create a method. Let's say, for example, I'm just going to call it as toString for now. I'll just rename it whenever I need to do it and just say public for now i'll make just make it as a two string but let's see how we can uh, name it differently i need to implement this particular employee first i'm going to create a developer i'll just create a developer who is also an employee right In the two string, I'm just going to build uh, developer. I'll just bring. Uh, I'll just build a two string builder, right? I'll just create a string builder with just a string builder. Of developer. And I'll add the name. Is this not protected? It should be protected. I'll just add the name and the ID to the two string and then just passing it. Let me create one more employee. I'm just going to call that as a lead, let's say, right? I'll create a lead, project lead, basically. What I'll do, what I'll do is I'll just create this guy. Okay, I'll just copy this. Copy the whole implementation.
and I'm just going to call this as the lead and this lead can have different developers right as the reportees so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the different developers here I'm going to add list of employees new array list and we are going to add a method called um, void add right add employee we can add an employee to the employees list this is going to add reportees to the project lead so the lead will have the reportees we also need the, the remove method so i have added the remove method as well so now the lead has add and remove right the developer will not have that however let's say there is the manager of the lead as well right we need to again implement the add and remove in that case we can move this add and remove to the employee class itself however with some empty, empty implementation because the developer might not have any reporting so what we can do is we can add some default methods here so the add employee and the remove employee in the lead we will have that as overridden methods so the developer doesn't have to overwrite that and it is already present in the employee here we can have some error messages or maybe you can throw some exceptions for example you can throw a unsupported exception saying cannot add reportees cannot add reporty to developer cannot add reporty by default let's say right so that way we know we cannot add reportees to the developer or whoever it is who cannot have reportees so we have created a lead we have created a developer now let's create one more structure like right? the leads the manager basically similar to how we have implemented in the lead we are going to use exactly similar methods the only thing is instead of having a list at the manager level you will have at every composite level so these are the composite classes right the lead and manager are the composites the developer will be a leaf an employee is nothing but the component an employee can be either a developer or a lead or a manager lead and managers will have reporting structures of the developers that is why we have this particular option of storing the employee list in the manager and the lead so now let's create a implementation of the usage i'm going to call it as composite example public static void main how do we create a developer uh, let's create a developer we are going to create it create a employee right so he is going to be an employee and he is going to call be called as developer because we are going to create a developer 
with a name called Peter. The employee ID is 1. Salary is, let's say, 100 L. We are going to create a developer 2 called Sam, whose employee number is 2. Salary is 200. Same way, we are going to create Ryan. His salary is 200 as well. We are going to create a, now a lead who's going to be called as Mike. His employee number is 4. His salary is let's say 2000 L. And he's going to be called as lead 1. Same way, we will have lead 2. We are going to call him as Chris. Let's create few more developers. Five, six, and seven. Including four and five. So we have five developers, two leads. We need to create a manager as well. And I'm going to call the manager's name as Will. And his employee number is let's say eight. And his salary, let's say, is 50,000 So now, how do we create a reporting structure? Right, we would be creating a reporting structure for the lead. For lead one, we will be adding employees. Right, developer one, let's say I'm going to create three people. I'm going to assign three people to lead one, and I'm going to assign lead two with just only one developer. Now, these leads report to the manager as well. So we can add manager.add of lead1, lead2, and also there is one pending developer, right? We can directly add that developer to the manager because he is also an employee. Your employee can report either to a lead or a manager, right? So I wanted to show that variation. That is why I, I added that developer directly to the manager. So now finally, I'm going to call the manager.toString. What this to string is going to return is just the list of reporting structure for that particular manager. Right? If you want to see the reporting structure for each and every lead, you can do that here. Saying lead one dot two string. We can see what lead two dot two string. Let's see what is out. If you notice here, uh, initially the lead one shows just the leads information. However, it is not showing the employee information. I think I know why. Because I did not traverse through each and every list of employees. Yep, that's the mistake which I did. If you notice here, I just did the builder.to string. However, I did not traverse through every um, employee of him, right? Let's say builder.append. I'll just add an employees list which he directly supports. So we need to now traverse through each and every employee. And for every employee, we need to do the two string and we need to add this into the builder. So this way I'm traversing through every employee and getting the toasting for him. And we need to do this for even the manager. So now let's see what is the output. It should now show the lead form the lead's name is Mike and his employee ID is that much. Okay, there is some let me add some space. Or dot 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 like let me rerun that so it is clear for us. Okay, so I added it only for the manager, I need to add it for the lead as well.
now I can see clearly that uh, the leads name is Mike and I think in the manager I have not named it as manager let me do that as well so that we can just verify the data so the lead name is Mike and his employee ID is 4 his employees are developers one is Peter the next guy is Sam the next guy is Ryan same way for Chris there is only one guy who is Ryan did I name it as Ryan uh, twice let me check yep I have named him as Ryan uh, I can change it as maybe Ryan X right just to show the differentiation I'll just rerun yep I have different Ryan's now I have Ryan here I have Ryan B and then finally I have Ryan X and if you notice your manager will have his employees as leads who are internally having developers and finally he will have his own developer as well which is nothing but Ryan right so this is how you can create a composite design pattern so it is useful when you want to create composition you can use composition separately like how we have created a lead you can create the lead separately you can use the lead separately and you can completely get the lead specific data you can have manager and then you will have manager specific data so that way you have different composition you have different types of list that leads to the disadvantage of the composite design pattern because we are creating lists two times here right manager has a completely different list and again the lead has a completely different list so this way you are duplicating the data so that itself is the biggest disadvantage of the composite design pattern it is very costly to create more composite implementation the other thing is it is very simple it is overly simple which leads to creation of multiple composite examples right the composite implementation will be more so people will tend to create more and more composite impl uh, implementation like how we created right we just copy pasted lead and we did my small minor changes to the we just copy pasted the lead and we did minor changes to the manager and we copy pasted everything from the lead right that way people can go ahead and create multiple composite implementations without even having to without even having to call the employee or consult with the employee saying can i create more composite implementation so that way you will end up creating more and more clients or implementations or concrete classes so that adds to the disadvantages because it's overly simple that's it for this particular video i hope you guys understood what is composite design pattern if you like the video go ahead and like it if you haven't subscribed to the channel go ahead and subscribe to it meet you again in the next video Thank you very much.